Well, I, how's everyone doing today? Well, I'm so sorry I couldn't get any new videos in. Uh, it's Epic Survival. I'm back with you here on YouTube. I was so busy lately, I couldn't post any videos doing different things. Well, um, today I wanted to discuss a few of the major concerns of survivalists. And, um, okay, well, uh, you saw my first bug out uh, vehicle video. It was uh, about the Polaris RZR as my favorite choice of a bug out vehicle, but this is uh, the actual, like, what people would consider quote quote of a bug out vehicle. Um, so, I don't know, maybe you guys might take these into consideration. Well, alright, let's begin. Bug out vehicles part 2, epic survival. Once again, um, I'm using Debut, it's a computer program, it records, I'm not using my camera, I'll be using my camera when I'm introducing my bag, my food, um, th uh, things like that, you know, um, I f how to start a fire properly, stuff like that, well, alright, enjoy for now, alright, well, uh, one, we need uh, off-road capabilities, right here we have a Hummer H1, uh, and basically off-road capabilities are anything that can uh, get you off and on road whether you need to cross a mountain trail or drive over a, f a, f a fall tree blocking the road off-road four-wheel drive capable is a must so basically in summary you need a four-wheel vehicle four-wheel drive vehicle that is capable of going anywhere um, All right. Uh, low maintenance. Uh, maintenance is extremely important when it comes to bug out vehicle. The last thing you need in, in an emergency is failure of some kind, be it tires or alternators. Tires are the most commonly broken car part when off-roading, so this is a high priority as well. So basically, in summary, you would want a low maintenance vehicle, something that's that that you know for a fact that's uh, it's gonna stick. To that it's going to stick really well off-road, things like that, alright? Alright, let's see. Um, we, you need cargo space. Cargo, sca cargo space is essential for anything. When bugging out or even for other purposes, having good amount of cargo space is important. You will need room for both supplies and people. This eliminates many of the small, smaller off-road vehicles. So basically, you need a vehicle that you know that can fit your family, that can fit your uh, MREs, your bug out bags, your uh, your anything, you know, basically in there, and that you know you could survive on it. And that's uh, number three for cargo space. Redundancy. Um, may, um, I'll just summarize this. Many modern vehicles are ingrained with electronics, which is compromised which if compromised will render your bug out vehicle unusable. As tempting as it is to buy a newest, baddest truck or SUV, having a vehicle that is invulnerable or only s or only semi vulnerable to EMP or other electronic distributions is important. And often overlooked. Some of the most durable vehicles are the older ones in the particular diesel uh, vehicles which have basic engines without lots of electronics. Additional diesel fuel engines can run off alternative fuels like uh, kerosene, heating oil, and certain jet fuels and pinch this could be a huge advantage. Well basically, um, uh, let me summarize this for you guys. You don't want to buy something new, something fancy for 50, 60, 40 grand that's, that you think is going to be awesome but then it breaks down the next couple days. You want to buy um, I'll give you an example. My uncle, he, um, when I was in Europe, I said this in my previous vehicle, I rode his Polaris RZR, but he also had a Mercedes. It was a Jeep, G500, I believe. Uh, it was really good. We went on mountains and everything. It was just the perfect thing. Well, it got stuck a few times here and there, but you'd want something like, something uh, that's boxed, something that's four wheels, something that you know that can be really efficient and uh, I prefer I would say buy something with diesel fuel engines because you can put in uh, things like kerosene heating oil and jet fuels and I heard of plant oils or 
uh, things like that that can actually make your vehicle run the same as uh, putting in regular gas or diesel fuel. But that's only for diesel fuel. All right, uh, that's redundancy. Uh, kind of long. I'm sorry about that. Well, I I can try to summarize it for you. Basically, uh, buy something that you know will last you. Don't. Uh, it's not about electronics or navigation systems or things like that. Just buy something that you know it's good for you. All right, let's go to five. Durability. Bug out vehicles must have must be durable. They will need to stand up to a variety of uh, abuses during travel. Some of the most parts of the vehicle are the axles, drivetrain, and engine. Many of off-road vehicles come with skid plates to protect the bottom of the car. Otherwise, it would be good. Uh, it would be good to install one. Good bumpers are also great to have. Greatly help to protect the engine. All right. Well, basically, you want a shield over your car, like this picture I have right here. This is uh. I don't even know, I think it's from Tornado Watchers or something like that. They use a vehicle similar to this. It's something that's going to keep them safe, a ton of metal, it will stay on the ground, uh, it'll protect them from basically anything. Maybe the tires back there, if you can see them, uh, they're kind of they're kind of open then. But still, I bet there's something behind the tires that's protecting them. So you, um, I think having uh, like body armor for your car is essential. Alright, that's durability for you. Add-ons plus accessories. Um, Four-wheeler enthusiasts love to put on. Basically, this is uh, in summary. I don't know if I'm running short on time. I actually might be. But in summary, you add-ons and accessories uh, are pretty essential because if you put on like, for instance, I bet that the, the uh, this car. I think it's a Nissan. Yeah, uh, it doesn't come with the upper lights or the the front lights, those, not the front lights, but like the two lights with the, the extra bumper on there. Uh, I don't think it came with that. I bet this car is custom. See how it's camo. Um, it's, you want it to blend in with your surroundings, basically. If you're, if you're, if you know you're going to go into the woods, you want something like this. If you know you're going to go in the snow, you want something that blends in with the snow. Um, uh, alright, that's, that's basically it for that. Alright, uh, towing. You want something in towing that's gonna be good that you know will pull anything. Um, in off-road conditions, towing can be a hassle, but you need something that can uh, make its way up that you're gonna be satisfied with. That it won't. It's not scared of any conditions, basically. All right. Um, color. That's basically what I talked about before. Uh, avoid. It says avoid bright colors. You want to stick to, uh, for instance, green and black are the best, with gray and dark blue being second uh, to your choices. So basically, um, be smart, blend in with your surroundings. Don't show yourself that you're surviving or something like that. Don't don't be um, don't pick foolish colors. Basically, pick something that you know. Uh, be great for uh, camo and woods and stuff like that. All right. Uh, efficiency. Basically, you want diesel engines. Trying to find something with diesel. I know the economy sucks right now. It does. Um, I totally agree with that. Uh, here in um, uh, here in Chicago, our diesel is three ninety nine or clo really close to four, like three eighty something. 390 some I'm sorry I don't even know but it's around there it's really it's kind of high um, but it's it's reusable that's why you should get diesel uh, vehicles because they're much better give more torque more power the things that you need for off-road terrain basically all right and uh, I heard that you can like I said before you can put plant stuff like plant plant fuel or something like that uh, um, into these uh, engines, and that's about it for this slide. I think I have one. Not. Yeah, that's it. Well, basically, in summary, I want to summarize, guys, that you need a car that's good, that'll um, that'll last you a long time, that uh, that that you know you're gonna be satisfied with. Your family's gonna be satisfied. You can store things in there. A uh, high power, high torque goes anywhere, basically. Um, and yeah, 
Uh, guys, if you are interested in this channel, uh, I will be posting a lot more when it comes to when I have more free time. Um, I think I said two videos a day that one day last week. Uh, that was just because I had that day off. Um, um, that's basically it. Comment, rate, subscribe. And by the way, what got me interested in all this is Doomsday Prepper. So if you guys ever have um, have a chance to see watch that show, you should. Or you should take it into consideration. Uh, some of it may be a bit too extreme, some not. Uh, take a chance when you have and watch it. You'll find it a lot more interesting than maybe some of my presentations, probably. <laughs> but this is just the basics. Um, I will have a camera prepared. Um, maybe not next time, maybe the time after that when I'm actually presenting. I'll put these videos in order. Alright, thank you guys so much for viewing my videos. Like I said, comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you. Alright, bye-bye.